In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the slider feature in Webflow. Whether you're new to Webflow or seeking to enhance your design skills, understanding how to effectively use sliders can add a dynamic touch to your website. Let's dive right in and explore how you can create visually engaging sliders effortlessly. First, you'll want to navigate to the Webflow homepage. If you haven't already done so, click on the sign up button. It's free and quick. You can create an account using your email and a new unique password, or if you prefer, you can sign in using your Google account for convenience. Once you've set up your account and password, head over to your Webflow dashboard to get started on your first project. Once you're in your project, locate the Add Elements panel. This is where you can drag and drop various elements into your design workspace. Among the elements, look for the slider component. It's an adaptive element that adjusts beautifully to different screen sizes, making your site more interactive and appealing. After adding a slider to your canvas, you'll notice two default slides to begin with. To add more variety, click on Add Slide, which will enable you to introduce additional slides to your slider component. You can include distinct visuals or content in each slide to enhance user engagement. Next, it's time to delve into the settings of your slider. Customize the transition animation by clicking on animation. Here, you can choose different effects such as crossfade or fade out in and even play around with the slide over option to see which transition resonates best with your website's theme and aesthetic. Adjusting these settings can significantly impact the flow and feel of your site. The duration of each slide display is crucial for maintaining your audience's interest, so be sure to set this accordingly under duration. Input values that match your desired pace and revisit these settings until everything aligns with your vision. Additionally, if you'd like your slides to transition automatically, enable the autoplay slides feature. For even more customization, explore the custom attributes option to personalize elements further. You can also modify the spacing and style of your slider to fit seamlessly with the rest of your page design. Finally, don't forget to check out the navigation settings and click on style to adjust typography and color schemes, choosing options that accentuate your content. Once you're satisfied with your design, click on publish to make your work viewable on selected domains. And there you have it. With these straightforward steps, you're well equipped to implement sliders in Webflow, enhancing your site's interactivity and aesthetics. Happy designing, and don't forget to explore more of Webflow's features to fully unlock your creative potential.